First, let's find keys. How many sharps do we have here? Four sharps. F sharp, C sharp, and G and D. So whenever you see F, C, G, D, you have to play it like keys, going half steps up. So you will play this note instead of that one. Let's find out the keys. What is the key name? To find a key signature, you have to go half step up from the last sharp for the sharp keys only, not for the flat keys. The sharp keys, the last sharp is D sharp. Then half step up is E. That's how you find. So key is E. So key of E has four sharps, as you see it. This time, we will go over the left hand part. If we can play the left hand chord smoothly, then it will be much easier to play with both hands together. Since this song is in key of E major, there will be many E chords. The Love Affair has many different chords, which makes this song beautiful, but different chords makes the patterns hard to explain. So I will go just over from the beginning to where there are double bar lines. I will just go slow. Let's start. First chord is E. So E chord, but what we play is E, B, and this missing G will be the next. So you go with finger number two to one, to one, and then B cross it over with finger number two. And F sharp, B, G sharp. That's the first chord. While you're playing all these notes, you have to hold the pedal down. So it will be E, B, G sharp, B, cross it over, F, B, G sharp. And next chord is E. When, after you play E, you will lift it up the pedal and push down again. And C sharp, E, A, again, cross it over, thumb and with finger number three, two with B and C sharp with one and go to A again. And the third chord is E, C sharp, F sharp, and finger number two, cross it over, thumb and go to A and thumb with C sharp. And following chord is E, B, G, B, F, B, G, B. That's the same as the first chord. Just difference is you have one more. You go up to B. Now, the next one is F sharp, A, and G sharp, and B. When you play this chord, you have to change pedal. So F sharp, A, after that, you have to hold it, and after G, you have to lift it up and push down again, and B, so you change it there. And the following chord is A, and G, F, G, and here you slide down thumb to A, coming down. Try not to play like this, but just slide down. That's gonna make really smooth sound. And then your pinky comes slide like this, like this. Do you see it? Don't play at each note. Don't pork it. Then it's gonna make really stuffy sound. So, and then smoothly come down. A, B, C sharp. And the next measure, C sharp, C sharp. So it's octave after that. E with finger number four, two, and then you will play a C, A, E. You may have to roll. If you have a B can, then you can play it this chord, three note at the same time. But if you don't have B can, then you can just roll. That's how I do, since I have a small hand. And following 
chord is a B, B, F sharp, D sharp, but the right hand, there are D natural, so we have to do natural too. So D natural and left hand E, B, e, and the same note you play it. Lock the chord and then D natural. And next to chord is A, E, B, A, E, N, A, N. That one, just one pedal. So this is the same chord. Next to chord is G, E, B. After that, the same E but you have to go with finger number four so that you have enough space to go up to next to E, the same E. And then D sharp, C sharp, B. Measure 16, F sharp, C sharp, A, and E cross it over. That's B jump. So you have to move your wrist like this smoothly. Instead of don't go straight forward and drop it, then it's gonna make it a uh, 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 jumping sound. So be careful. Smoothly go over. And next to chord, after you drop the next chord, you have to switch it here to a pedal. A with finger number one and C sharp and D sharp. And the following chord is a D, B, and F. So after that, move your wrist like this. Turn a little bit so that you can go smooth. Do you see it? My angle? Sometimes people ask me, how you can play it so smooth? This is the key. Do you see my curved wrist? So try to hold note as much as you can. And F sharp, the next note is B. So you go cross it over again. And same as before, after the C sharp, you lift it up the pedal and push down. And next note is E sharp, so it's gonna be F actually. And then I come with finger number two and one with the D and B. And next chord is A octave. And just lift it up and come pinky with the C sharp, A, C. So it's basically this chord. And then finger number two to B and finger number one under. So it goes like this. Remember, A, G sharp, F. And then going to G sharp again, octave. And pinky with you come to B. G sharp B, so this chord. And next to G, natural, but you have to switch the pedal again. And D sharp, A sharp. And hold it longer. And the following chord is F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp. And then after that, you have to squeeze in your hands like this. And then play a one with the E here, right next to the note. Why? Because you have to go down more. And with finger number two, two, C sharp. And then you play a C sharp one more time. And thumb with the C natural and go to the next octave. And there will be half note so one and two and after that B B octave and then you have another B B octave that's it this time let's play both hands together now right hand first note is F sharp and G sharp here and as I play I will count one and two and three and four and to make it easy left hand is on starting with E and the first line is introduction. So the rhythm will be the same, 
once in a while the right hand is changing the chord but in the same rhythm let's just go three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and left hand E one and two and three and four and left hand E again and right hand C sharp and B one and two and three and four and and next to note is the same left hand E but right hand is asleep just slide it down and you see it and already is there right hand B C sharp A one and two and three and four and now from here as your melody line start very beautiful melody line right hand G sharp and B and left hand chord as I play I'm not gonna explain it which note it is each one if you don't know you can just go back and check left hand part one and two and three and right hand G and E and then next to note is F sharp and D sharp and then C sharp and B next to one and two and three and the next to note is A and F sharp and C sharp and E right hand E and A and go to D sharp and G and drop soft up to here one more time we will just break it into the part and play it now we will go over first the part one more time you have to practice part by part so that when you can play it well, then move it on to the next one instead of playing whole entire song. Let's go again from the main song to up to the just first phrase. Moving on to the second part, right hand is B, E, D, E, F sharp, and go to octave E, and finger number four with the D, and C sharp and B, two, three, four, tied, and then go to the next thumb to B, the same note, ending note. So hold it until your thumb is coming here, and then move it your pinky. That way you know where you go. That's the tip. So one, two, three, prepare, and then G sharp, and slide it down, thumb, and finger number four is already there. That's how you play. Now, let's go to measures, both hands together. Three, and four, and. your right hand A, B, A, and coming down to one two three four five after that octave G sharp F sharp D sharp you're just stepping down and next to note is 
F sharp, A, D natural, and F sharp. Just chord. This is easy chord. I know you have to play many chords, but yes, this is a chord. So let's go these two measures. 3 and 4 and C sharp. So we will go by part by part. Part two, I will go over one more time. right hand B E B and next note is come to E and C sharp E and B and D sharp and C sharp and E and A and F so it goes practice this part and after that B E B and these B and E remaining, the next note, next chord, but adding E here. So it comes to like this. And then again, B and D sharp, C sharp and E, and this time is D and F sharp. And B and E, and step down. And this time, step down, slide down everything, just coming moving from white to black key and slide it down to F sharp, D sharp, F sharp again the next note is A, F sharp, A and slide it down to black key but this time instead of F we play it D but natural so like this so it goes from A to coming down and next note is E sharp, so E sharp is F, so octave and B F. This is one of the hardest part. That one in the next line is hardest one. How you practice it? First, leave it out the middle one and play it. Just play octave. Just leave it out and play it. Tip. And when you can play it well, then add it the middle lines, middle note actually. One, two, three. Or if it doesn't come really well, you can just play it active. That's fine. Now let's go this line, both hands together. this part couple of times 
and move it on to the next one because these two lines are the hardest one. This time, part four. Let's play right hand first. Basically, right hand plays octave. So G sharp, F sharp, E sharp, D sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A. So just remember, about the rhythm first just think about the sound when you can play it well then add it active and when you add it active then you can play it as it's written edit the melody lines I mean edit the rhythm now let's go so G sharp, C sharp, G sharp. This time I will edit the middle note. So, and C sharp remaining, just slide it down. From black key, it's easy, right? You see it? You don't have to move far. So, just slide it down, play it again. And this time, right hand stays, C sharp stays, but you have to play with finger number three because finger number two is too short. And then move it to E. And C sharp is still there. What you need to do is from E to slide down to black key. See? And F sharp, both F sharp, and instead of C sharp, your finger number two play. And finger number two is still here, but since you come to E, you have to switch to from E finger number two to three on B. Do you see it here like this? This is the technique actually. And now hold it down, slide in, and play it black key. And A sharp adding it. And slide it down again. See, like this. Slow motion. Do you see it? Finger number two to three switching it and then thumb and pinky goes slide it down. Again, the same way. So in this section, if you see it, basically pinky slide down from black key to black key or white key to black key, black key to black key, black key to white key, white key to black key. And at the same time, the middle fingers also slide down from two to three and then three to two, something like that. So you have to remember, instead of playing, each chord dropping it each time then you are stating each melody line ah, 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 which makes really sound ugly okay so if you want to play a really beautiful like a dreamy sound you have to keep holding left hand. Left hand is A active and then come to C sharp, A, C sharp. Slow, three, and four, and. Now we will go over part five. Part five is the main theme is coming back again. So melody line is almost the same, left hand little bit change. Especially 
The first four lines are literally the same, except the very last note is changing left hand, just one note. So let's go slow. G sharp in D and left in E. Three and four and. The closing part is ending. Closing part means ending. Ending is similar to the opening part. The difference is we have a little longer ending. So right hand is B and D sharp and F sharp. And two and and seems like it's a different rhythm, but it's almost the same as quarter because the next note is eighth note and rest. So one and two. And just leave a little fast to go to the next note. Now, the thumb is the same, only finger number two move from F sharp to E, slide it down. So, and two, and slide it down. And, and then this time, second stays and thumb slide it down. See? So, one, and two, and finger number two move, and thumb move. That's how you do. And next to measure B, the same note. And this time finger number move, finger number two move from white key to black key. See? And then coming back to F sharp. I play with two and three. And two. And then the next one is C and E. If you play with your left hand, it's easier to count the beat because left hand is filling the beat. Let's go slow. Three and four and. Left hand is G sharp and B and C sharp. Slide it down and sing B. Lesser line, but that's A. And right hand is B. C. Loud to play it soft, just go inside of the key and drop. 
and ending whole bit as much as you want it. That's the whole entire song. So you need to practice whole entire song over and over again by part by part. And if you can play it well, then play a whole song. 